Hi, in this video we'll be going over IB applications and interpretation question from May 2024, time zone one, paper one. And this is a geometry question. So it's asking us to find the arc length of a BQ. And so BQ, the arc length, is basically just the distance going around the circumference of the circle. But not the whole circumference of the circle, just what I traced in blue. Now the fact that it's a part of a circumference means that it would be very helpful for us to find the circumference of the whole circle. So in order to find the circumference of a circle, we know the formula is 2 pi r. And we don't have r, we don't have the radius in this case, which means that we need to find it. So in order to find the radius, there's multiple radii in the circle. So for example, from here, out to here is a radius, but there is nothing indicating how to find that radius. So that's not helpful. From here up to here, also a radius, but how can we find it? Not helpful. Or a super random one. Again, not helpful. But what is helpful is if we go from here to here, because that is a part of a rectangle that's in the figure. All right. So as we see, we have a length eight here. We have a length five here, and that's a part of a right triangle. All right, so in order to find that radius, all we need to do is Pythagorean theorem. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where c is our Pythagorean. And that is what we're looking for right here. That is the radius. So a squared, we can say any of those legs of so five squared plus eight squared is equal to the radius squared. And so 8 squared plus 5 squared will give us 89 equals r squared. And our radius is going to be the square root of 89, which gives us r as 9.434. All right, so once we get the radius, now we do need to figure out that circumference, but only a part of the circumference. So the question is what portion or what, por yeah, what portion of that circle do we need? And so if we can find that angle here, that will tell us the arc length that we're looking for. Now we do know that this here is 90 degrees. So really what we are looking for, and I'll use a different color here, is that green angle right there. Now let's call that theta. So in order to find theta, I'm going to trace out that triangle again so we can see it clearly in green. All right. So in order to find theta, we're going to use that right triangle that we see traced in green. And so in our triangle, we know that R, the part that we just found, was the hypotenuse. That's not helpful to us anymore. This side here that is opposite the angle that we're interested in. So that is our opposite. And this side here is right next to the angle that we're looking for. So that is our adjacent. So when we are looking for an angle in a triangle and a right triangle, we are going to use Sokotoa. And so the ratio that gives us or that utilizes the opposite and the adjacent are tangent. So tan of an angle is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. So tan of that angle is equal to opposite, which we know is eight over the adjacent, which we know is five. So in order to find that angle, we have to do the inverse tan or the second tan of eight over five. And let's look at what that looks like in the calculator. In our calculator, we press second, 10, and then eight over five. And then we enter that and we get 57.99, which really truly is 58 to three significant figures. So theta is equal to 58 degrees. Now, that is not the question. The question is asking for the arc length. So make sure that you always circle back to what that question is asking for. And so I'm going to make this circle less busy. We have a lot going on here. So let's erase some stuff 
so we can see what's happening. All right. So the angle that we were looking for ultimately was that angle. So we have that 58 degrees plus the 90 degrees out here, which is 148 degrees. All right. So we know that that angle is 148 degrees out of a full circle, which is 360 degrees. So that portion of the circumference that we're looking for is 148 over 360. And we're looking for that portion of the whole circumference, which is two pi times the radius, which we found earlier as 9.434. Now we can go ahead and just type this whole thing into the calculator. And when you do, you get that or arc length of BQ is equal to 24.4 units squared or squared units. And that's it. All right, so we just finished question 11 of this test. There's just one more question for me to publish and then I will be starting on question two, I mean paper two, so stay tuned.